American universities all around the world, they are known as some of the most prestigious institutions of learning. And so, to get into them, you have to work hard. You have to volunteer. You have to play sports. You have to get super high grades. Or you can just have shady rich parents. Federal prosecutors today revealed what they say is the largest case of college admissions fraud in U.S. history, charging coaches and affluent parents, including Hollywood elite, in a massive bribery scheme to fast-track kids into some of the country's top universities, including Yale and Stanford. All told, the 33 people named in the indictment paid an alleged $25 million in bribes. Those kids' parents now facing jail time include real estate moguls, wine vineyard owners, entrepreneurs like trend expert Jane Buckingham, who posted this inspiring Instagram message last spring. Don't cheat, it reads. Yeah. Yeah, don't cheat, because I'm cheating. <laughs> and if we all start cheating, then it's fair game. So what even is the point? <laughs> but this story is a bombshell, all right? Dozens of rich parents, including Hollywood actors, accused of straight up bribing their kids way into college. I mean, some of these parents allegedly paid up to $6.5 million, which is insane. Honestly, for that amount of money, just buy a smarter kid. <laughs> now, the alleged mastermind of this entire scheme is a man named William Singer, right? Parents paid him millions of dollars, and then he spread those bribes around. According to prosecutors, the scheme involved two kinds of fraud. Parents paying a college prep organization to help their children cheat on SAT or ACT exams, and others paying to allegedly bribe college coaches to help admit the students as athletes, regardless of their athletic skill. Singer went as far as to Photoshop kids' pictures into sporting events, even made up athletic achievements. In one instance, a parent sending this photo showing their daughter playing water polo in high school, but in fact, the photo was another student. Wait, the balls on these people <laughs> to just literally Photoshop their kids' faces onto the bodies of real athletes. And I also can't believe nobody noticed this. Because <laughs> the parent was just there like, we're so proud of our little Joshua. He is like, here he is during the state championship game. <laughs> and here he is in the spring when he won the gold medal at the track meet. <laughs> So, reportedly, reportedly, these college coaches would take bribes to pretend that they needed these non-athletes on their teams. And then once the kids got into the school, the kids would just never play. Yeah. You know what I think? I think the perfect punishment for these coaches would be forcing them to compete with a team full of all the fake athletes that they recruited. <laughs> yeah. That should be the punishment. <laughs> and then... And then on top of that... On top of that, we say that they have to win the championship or all of them go to jail. Yeah. <laughs> it would be like a really uninspiring Disney movie. From the makers of the Mighty Ducks comes the Wealthy Dicks. <laughs> I think it has potential, guys. I really think it does. And now, there's some people out there who might sympathize with these parents, you know? Because they might be saying, like, every parent wants the best for their kids, which is true. Every parent does want the best for their kids. I mean, except for prairie dogs, you know? Yeah. <laughs> no, because prairie dogs eat their young. Yeah, oh, don't awe me. This is the animal kingdom. It's brutal. <laughs> yeah, this is real life. It's not like the Lion King. Warthogs, friends with lions? No. In real life, Simba would be face deep in Pumbaa's intestines, all right? That's how it would be. <laughs> yeah, Hakuna Matata, my ass. That warthog would have a lot of Matatas, my friend. <laughs> anyway, my point is, before you feel sympathy for these parents for just wanting the best for their kids, remember that these kids already had so many advantages, all right? They went to the best high schools. They could easily afford tutors and extracurriculars, but clearly it still wasn't enough. I mean, these parents are shameless. Like, they're literally on shameless.